So joy, prayer, and gratitude, they shouldn't be taken lightly. They're powerful attitudes that not only help us grow spiritually, but also help in how we treat other people with respect and kindness. When we practice these disciplines, we reflect Christ's love. We create a positive impact in our relationships. It is what do unto others is all about. Paul gives us a very practical blueprint for living a life of respect towards other people. My prayer is we apply it. You see, as followers of Christ, we're called to a higher standard of respect, one that goes beyond what the world would say we should do. This respect is not based on how others treat us. This is important. It's not based on how others treat us. It's based on how God has treated us. So we can show respect regardless of how others treat us. Jesus respected and honored us by being willing to die on a cross for our sins. In the same way, we are to show unconditional respect, not only to those who are easy to love, but to also those who challenge us or those who have hurt us or those who are different from us. Because when we live with that kind of respect, we reflect the heart of God to this world. So as part of our do unto others movement, let's commit to living with this kind of respect in every area of our lives, in our relationships, in our workplaces, in our schools, in our families, in our churches, in our communities. And as we practice patience and forgiveness and joy and prayer and thanksgiving, we will become living testimonies of Christ's love and peace. People will notice something different about us. They'll notice a difference in how we handle conflict. They'll notice a difference in how we speak to others. They'll notice how we treat people whose society sometimes overlooks. And through our actions, we can be a witness to the transformative power of God's love. So as we leave this place this morning, my prayer is that we respect and honor one another, just as Christ has respected and honored us. Keeping in mind, this respect is not something that we earn, and it is not something we deserve. It is a gift that flows out of the love of God, even when it's difficult. So remember, every time we are reflecting kindness and respect to someone else, we are reflecting the love of Christ to them as well, especially when they don't deserve it. And in so doing, we can become God's ambassadors of grace sharing Christ's transforming love with everyone that we meet.